The Florida Department of Economic Opportunity is still scrambling to meet the demand following all the layoffs. However, for those struggling to pay their bills, they are not getting organized fast enough. News 6's Mike DeForest continues to follow the confusion and backlog, and he joins us now live. And Mike, you spoke with more frustrated people who are trying to get benefits. What do they say? Frustrated and scared, Ginger. Every day we hear from more and more people who are having trouble applying for unemployment benefits. Now, the state will point out that just last month, unemployment was extremely low and the state didn't have to help very many people, but that has quickly changed in a big way. Ever since Jonathan Sangus was laid off from his job as a chef two weeks ago, he's been trying to obtain unemployment benefits online. First thing that happens, I log in, it gets me as far as my claimant homepage, and it boots me totally out of the system. He's also tried contacting the state's unemployment agency by phone. I can't even get a hold of anyone, not a single human being. In the first week of March, more than 5,000 Floridians applied for reemployment assistance. That number has climbed throughout the month. Last week, nearly a quarter million Floridians sought help, overwhelming the system. What are you going to do to get the money into the hands of the working people? Keep in mind, we want to work. Sangus's girlfriend, Kelly Boyer, will soon be furloughed from her job. I'm concerned because if they're having issues now, what's going to happen in two to three weeks when mine comes up? The Florida Department of Economic Opportunity, which handles reemployment assistance, says it's hiring more than 50 additional workers later this week. The agency is contracted with a customer care and tech support firm to answer phones, and it's begun making enhancements to its website. The agency is also in the process of developing a mobile app. This couple says they need the state money to pay their bills. I'm petrified right now. Right now, uh, un, uh, let, let me start over here, sorry. Right now, freelance and gig workers cannot obtain state unemployment benefits, but they will eventually be able to obtain federal money. Now, that federal money is going to be routed through the state system. We are still waiting for answers on how that's all going to work. Back to you. All right, Mike DeForest reporting live. Mike, thank you.